two, one. Um, namaste. <laughs> That's right. You knew this video was going to happen. You knew this video was going to happen. This video is long overdue because we're diving in today all about meditation. Today in this video, I'm going to break down meditation once and for all. I'm going to break down why it's important and then drum, brrr, drum roll please, five list format, five steps on how you can get started and start obtaining mindfulness, y'all. Let me tell you something about meditation right off the bat. What, what do you think? You need to go out and buy a bunch of like bells and like special robes and mats and stuff? No, 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 no. It's a practice that we're once we get into it can be started on a very small scale and can grow and eventually be something that you could add to your daily routine that could dramatically improve where you're at mentally. We, hey, you want to work on your physical health? You exercise or you go to the gym. You want to work on your financial health? You sit down with a financial planner. You want to work on your spiritual health? You go to church or seek it out some other way like that. Emotional health, you know, maybe therapy, but a lot of these things. If you want to work on your mental health, I highly recommend getting involved with meditation. Now, full disclosure, I've only been doing it for about... I don't know, 10 months, but this year, way more since 2024 hit. And I've been focused on this whole self inner look at Gabriel Jon Snow mission that I'm on. Download the uplift, baby. But it's helped me out a lot. I am not BSing. This isn't just like, I wonder what I can talk about on the content. This is something that has helped me. If you took nothing else from this channel, it would be that this can actually help you out. So, and let's talk about why it's even important in the first place, right? Stress reduction. It we we get so much stuff piled on it. When we, it's the pets, it's the family, it's the chaos at work, or uh, you got some obnoxious stuff going on in your life, and you have so much, and it's all gets stacked up and stacked up and stacked up, and you might just think, oh well, I got a good night's sleep. Please refer to the, one of the podcasts when we talk about sleep. You need to take a second and actually look and examine on what's inside. And when you do that, one of the big benefits of meditation is stress reduction. We'll lower the stress hormone, which is cortisol. Give it a quick googs and find it. Uh, also, it's gonna improve your focus and concentration. Do you have something huge going on in the future? Do you have some big dilemma or decision to make? Should you get the Dodge Charger with the leather seats or the, just the regular cloth seats? Well, doing meditation will help you focus and will help you concentrate on things and it will help train your mind to stay present. Another big thing is your emotional health. We need to focus on these things, dude. I know it's weird. I get it. I once I like I said, we're not turning you into a shaman with a goat in Tibet. This is something that you can do and start small, but your emotional health is something that is super important. This I'm by the way, I'm already sold on it. And I'm not and I'm I guess in a way I'm selling you, but you should be selling yourself on this because who doesn't want a little peace in their life? But that better emotional health that comes from meditation is something that it helps you be more self-aware, it promotes emotional health, and it also is going to reduce your depression and anxiety. Also, it's just a better sense of self-awareness. When we're able to look inside of like who we are, sometimes it can be a little scary. I know that for a fact. <laughs> Please believe. But when we look inside ourselves with meditation, it at least allows you to organize where you're at and and allow you to improve going forward from there. And then finally, it's just gonna help you with sleep. Getting a good night's sleep, usually you're not gonna get that way if you have a bunch of stuff going on in your head like, oh, did I do this? Did I do this? How do I handle this? Oh, why did I do this with this freaking girl? Oh, what did I do? But when you meditate on it and you're calming your mind, you're going to come down to the sheer fact that a calm mind is a calm body. So. Let's get right into that list format. Yo, I'm the first one to ever do this, right? How do we get started with meditation? Okay, maybe I've sold you on a little bit and you've sold yourself on a little bit. But how do we get started? Come with me, won't you? <laughs> okay, so step number one 
is find a quiet place. You don't need a special room. You don't need to be on a mountaintop somewhere with like those flag things that have been there for centuries waving. You just need a quiet place. A place where you won't be disturbed by any other thing, by anything going on in your household, by your phone, by any other distraction. Just find a place. If it's a closet, tell your family, they love you. Be like, hey, I need 15 minutes. I can't be disturbed. Your phone, I know some of us are like, oh, what's going on my phone? Get rid of it. Just find a quiet place. This is where we're going to start on this little meditation journey. Our second step is just to be comfortable. When you're doing this, you want to be comfortable. There's some people that say, like some of these guided ones I do, it's like, yo, you need to sit up, you know, and in, in like the, you know, pop culture thing that you've always seen. I actually lean back, but I do sit cross-legged and I do actually do the open hands thing. You'll, you'll find that out too when you get involved with this. But some people say, hey, if you're comfortable, lie down. Um, do whatever you're, what you think is best for you to be comfortable when you're doing this little meditation experiment of yours, of ours. But if you're going to lie down, realize that sometimes you're going to get so relaxed that you could be falling asleep and you don't want to do that. You want to be comfortable, but you still want to be mindful. Number three is probably the most important one of all this. And that's some people don't even call what this is as meditation. And it's just focus on your breath. When you concentrate on the sensation of breath coming in, breath going out, that's your anchor. That's what's going to help you stay grounded. That's your anchor. That's what, what's going to help you stay present. Breath is the, if there was one thing to concentrate on and you found your quiet place and you're comfortable, is to focus on your breath. And that is the, the framework of meditation. It's concentrating on your breath. Number four is start small. Automatically, you probably think it's this huge time commitment and start with five minutes and stay consistent. Do it for two weeks, five minutes a day. You gift yourself time with yourself and for yourself. You don't have to do it for hours to see the benefits. You'll, you'd be surprised and you'll be like, yo, Johnny Snowball, it actually worked pretty well. Eventually, you can always go up in time. Honestly, I'm about 10 to 20 minutes daily. That's what works for me. As you get more comfortable with the practice, you can go up. But for now, if we're a newbie, start with five minutes. It's, it's all about consistency more than duration, okay? So tip number four is just start small. Tip number five is to be kind to yourself, okay? Your mind is going to wander. I don't care if you're like a, a Zen master or if you're just starting out after watching this video, your mind is gonna wander. And, and that's totally natural, it's gonna happen. If you've been, if you've made some of the decisions I've made, or sent some text messages that you wish you could have taken back, or you wish you spent money differently, or if you wish you handled an interaction differently, or you wish you did things differently, or if you're all this stuff, your mind's gonna wander, just gently give yourself a reminder to come back, get back to your breath. It's a practice. It's it's perfectly normal for these thoughts to pop up. Acknowledge them, be like, okay, you're there, and return to your breathing. That's That's your anchor. So tip number five is just be kind to yourself. A bonus tip, what you use to meditate. I think in my very first solo video I talked about, uh, I put a link below on like guided meditation. I love those. That's my wheelhouse. I, it's somebody with like some cool ambient music being like, okay, and we breathe in and we breathe out. And that's super helpful for me. Some people can do a completely quiet. I feel like that would be an advanced. Um, some people just do ambient uh, music on a timer, but I like the fact that there's so many options on YouTube for just guided meditation. Five minute for beginners guided meditation is something. I'll put that one probably down below just to get you started. And then maybe another channel of one that has a bunch of options. I like guided because it kind of tells you when it's over and a nice transition back to reality because I'm no BS. If you commit to this, sometimes you get you're in your head and like you have to come back to your body in a way. I know that sounds wild, but it's true. You're like, whoa, and you open your mind. Um, it's that. So that's my bonus tip is just to find what works for you, but try using a guided meditation, doing it quietly. But there's going to be different avenues to pick. It's one of those why not situations. A lot of this mental health stuff that I talk about, it's like, why not try this? Even if you're like, have this leather skin, I've been through it all, I don't need this or whatever, like, trust me, it would help you too. Be patient with yourself, be patient with this process, 
Um, just remember that it's always about the journey, not the destination. G give this a shot. See what you think. See how it benefits you and stay consistent for two weeks and then check back in with me and see what and see how it goes for you. But this was just a little bit more of an in-depth video on meditation, five easy steps that you can take to give this a whirl. And I hope it works out for you because once again, this is for you. You're gifting yourself this. A lot of these guided ones I use at the end, they're like, thank, thank yourself for giving yourself this gift. And it really does. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel more refreshed. You're going to feel renewed. Just stay consistent with it. Um, remember these words that your future is bright. Keep up the good work. Praise God often and keep moving forward and upwards. My name is Gabriel Mark. This is Download the Uplift, a place where when we fall, we try and uplift you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you Monday with an all new Download the Uplift podcast. Thank you so much and namaste.